I'm sky high and I dare anybody to try and cut my wings I'm still pulling at the phantom and these haters can't stand them nigga I'm still doing my thing I'm still fly I'm sky high and I dare anybody to try and cut my wings I'm still What's happening folks, your boy Brooklyn Kid, how you doing? Uh, this is a response to the nigga with the tattoos. Shout outs to him and his team. Team have some. Um, you know, he was he really hit the nail on this one. You know, he was talking about black women that get upset with uh, when a black man goes out with a white woman. Now, I'm going. What you call it? I'm just gonna give my opinion on this. You know, basically, my thing is. Why are you so worried about black, you know, women, black women? Why are you so worried about when, you know, when a black man is going out with a white woman? That's, that shouldn't really be none of your business, you feel me? I mean, my, do you, you feel me? That's all I say. Do you. Let the man do him. If he wants to go out with a white woman, by all means, let him go out with a white woman. I mean, everybody got their own preference, you know what I mean? Everybody has a different type. So, all I'm saying is that, you know, you shouldn't really worry about it too much. I mean, especially here if you don't know the nigga. You feel me? Like, you just see him in a restaurant with a white girl and, you know, he's holding hands with her and he's just messing around with her. Just, you know, they kissing and all that. And you just mean mugging and, and whispering you know, some negative comments to your homegirls or whatever. And, like, seriously, are you pay all that money just to watch a nigga, you know, mess around with his girl, or you just or you go to the restaurant to eat and have a good time? Like, seriously, what did you do? So, I remember someone in my family told me that only reason why, a, you know, black most black men would go out or marry a white woman is because you know, they're intimidated of a black woman that's so strong and all that stuff. And I said, you know, that's not true, you feel me? Like, a lot of black black men go out with white women for various reasons. You know, we don't know those reasons. You feel me? There they're, they could be any reason whatsoever. And to sit there and, and make an assumption that, you know, oh, he's going out with her because... You know, she's weak and the black woman is too strong for him. Obviously, that's an ignorant statement. You feel me? In my opinion, that's, I feel that's very ignorant. You know, there are a lot of white women that do put people in their places, that do murk other women. I've seen it. And trust me, it's, it really is crazy. You feel me? And all I'm saying is that real talk you just don't know people and to jump to conclusions that's just really another ignorant thing to do so black women y'all need to chill out you know what i mean y'all need to real talk that's why a lot of a lot of y'all man leaving y'all and go for the white women because you see the white women most of them tend to be more nice you know and the black women tend to be more aggressive and rude and jaded so just imagine a lot of black men go through with a lot of bad experiences with black women, you know, so they don't, you know, they don't, they don't like that too much. So they go over to the white woman or they even go to the Spanish woman. You don't know, you know, and like I said, everybody has their reasons and ain't nothing wrong with someone having their own preference and type. We all have our own type. You feel me? Like me personally, I don't, I don't have a preference when it comes to race when dating a, a woman. I don't have a preference on that, you know, on, on what race she is because honestly, real talk, I don't care about race. You know what I mean? I really don't. Um, really, as long as I'm connected to her, as long as we have a form of connection, that's all that matters to me. You know, race is not an issue. And like I say, you have family members that have that that you know look at race, you know, as look at race, you know, first before they even go out with someone. Like, and I find it crazy, you know. I have people in my family said, "Don't go, don't go marry a white girl because she might take all your money." 
I said that in my interracial dating video. You gotta go check that out. And what happened? I have a cousin, by the way, he's in Australia. And he's been dating this white girl for about a good seven years now. They've been dating from, I guess, from they were in high school. And I gotta say, man, you know, if they were to come down here and visit, honestly, they would get like a, a lot of negative feedback because, especially from black women, because a lot of black women can't handle to see good, decent black men go out with good, decent black, I mean, good, decent white women, you know? So, honestly, just how it is. And, it's really crazy, you know what I mean? And I know y'all gonna say you probably go out with the white girl because there ain't no black females in Australia, you know, and that's wrong. There, I've seen a lot of black people so far. They're not too much, but I've seen quite a few black people in Australia. And yeah, he, he probably would have went out with them, but he decided to go out with the white girl because, you know, hey, you know, he feels a connection with her. He loves her. And I don't blame him, you know, she, I met her, you know, she's real cool, you know, when I went to visit Australia in December, she's a real cool girl down to earth and whatnot, so, yeah, I mean, I, I could see them both walking down the aisle together one day, you know, so, that's how it is, but all I'm saying is that, you know, you black women need to chill out and worry about you, and, and you only stop worried about these strangers, you know, these black men that are strangers to you that you don't know, you don't even know their name. You see them for the first time, they hang you know, they hanging with a hanging out with a white woman, you know, and you, you automatically jump to conclusions and get upset and make a fool out of yourself and go over to the couple and start tripping and start asking niggas questions like, Oh, why are you going out with the white what with this white girl? Why are you this and this and that? Well you can't handle us black women, huh? You can't this, you can't that. Like honestly man you're making a fool out of yourself and you're making black people in general look bad, you know, so y'all need to really chill out and seriously fall back, all right, fall back, go seek some help, go pray to God, go seek help from your pastor or something, just whatever it is you got to do to, 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 um, to delete this jealousy and envy of white women and every other race, you need to chill out, all right, we'll talk, you need to delete it from you, delete it from your heart, ask God to just, you know, help you, you know, we'll talk, because if you keep having this, this jealousy over white women, then you're not going to go anywhere, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to move on with your life, you're just going to be stuck there, and just going to be just you're not really gonna go anywhere in life so my thing is to just chill out and just do what you gotta do don't worry about the people but you so anyway i'm not gonna bore y'all but i'm out of here y'all comment subscribe tell me what y'all think about this even make a video response i'm open to this also shout outs to my um my old and new subscribers and um real talk i appreciate y'all you know for listening to my videos or whatever and also, shout outs to one again to the nigga with the tattoos and Team Half Some. You know, the nigga with the tattoos, I appreciate you for making this video. You know, you really, really, truly hit the nail on this one. And I wish you nothing but the best. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all later. One. You're alone, but she keep calling me, calling me, and I gotta go. Damn, here we go again. I just came back, girl, don't make me go again She said you been in the streets, you was with that hoe again Money wrapped in rubber bands, what you selling, blow again How she got you holding guns, but you call that hoe